there, my name is Chelsea Ross, and I am a member of the video primary team. In the previous videos by my fellow colleagues, Sharice Cruz and Sabrina Holak, you learned how video primary is essential for meeting the needs of the 21st learner. Their videos focused on teacher or expert created videos to enhance student learning. But why not flip the flip classroom and have students create videos? Student generated videos enables for a learner centered pedagogical approach within the classroom. Students are using their prior knowledge and new experiences to create knowledge, as well as demonstrate evidence of learning. In their research, Jennifer Friend and Matthew Militello concluded, students who engage in video production learn more about themselves academically, socially, and culturally. The SAMR model for technology integration demonstrates how video production can transform your teaching practice and allow students to create original work, which is at the top of Bloom's taxonomy. Video primary student creations can be used in all areas of the curriculum to demonstrate learning. They can be as elaborate as the use of a green screen, the doing gap, and an iMovie, such as the example of celebrations created by this grade six, seven class. If you have ever wondered what the history of St. Patrick's Day is or why we celebrate it, well, it all started when St. Patrick was born in Roman, Roman Britain and when he was 16, he was kidnapped and taken slave by Irish raiders. Or it can be as simple as a student's videotaping themselves to explain a concept as in this example by a grade five student. So what is here is that we wrote something that hurt us and we wrinkled it up and we tried to flatten it. Um, in real life, if you if you say something that someone might not like and you say sorry, it still wrinkles that heart and you can't you can't find it anymore. Um, so Sabrina Holat has already introduced you to Jack Comey in his study which found 33 pedagogic roles that videos can take on and add value to the teaching process. But he does caution, to achieve this potential, video needs to be designed for cognitive engagement and constructive reflection. The following interviews depict self-reflections by students who have created and used videos for various projects within their school career. Give us your first name and what grade you're in. I'm Sierra in grade seven. Perfect. So Sierra, what are your thoughts about using videos within the classroom to learn concepts? I like it because there are other people talking and not just the teacher. Nice. Have you? I'm Nicole and I'm in grade five. Nice. What are your thoughts about using videos within the classroom to learn concepts? I enjoy it because it helps you research stuff. Books are nice and all, but when sometimes it doesn't have the information, all the information you have, so it's nice to look up video. So last year, you created a video project. Can you just tell us a bit about that project? Um, yeah, we did it in socials, and it was about St. Patrick's Day, and it was hard to find photos that were not copyright, and memorizing your lines, and having to redo them if you mess up, <laughs> and arguing over ideas that we had. But with even though you had those problems, do you think your group worked well to solve them? Yeah. And do you think it helped you become a better student in the process? Yeah, working with other people uh, and different people is hard, but then you learn to like, nice. make it work. Nice. And are you happy? I had some trouble finding a good music to suit the book. So instead of using music, I used like those sound effects in them. Nice. Um, did you have any other problems when you were shooting the video itself? Um, well, I kind of froze a few times because I forgot what I was supposed to say. And, but that was really the only thing. And so did you like the fact that you could then just retake the video? Yeah, because if I messed up, it's not like, oh, you're stuck with that and you have to do another 
Okay. Now, would you prefer to do like a video production or like do a traditional such as a test taking? And which of those two, if you had to show your learning, which would you prefer to do? A video because it's easier for me to work with technology and I look forward to doing it instead of a test. So, yeah. Thank you so much. Awesome. A worksheet or create a video. I would create a video because I'm better with technology and it's just a lot more fun that way. Thank you very much, Ian. I would prefer to do a video because it's much easier than trying to, you're stressing out to do like, oh no, this question, uh, I don't know which one was it, A, B, or C, I forgot. So it's easier to do that than... With new apps being developed, such as Flipgrid, the possibilities of incorporating student-generated videos within the classroom seem endless. Please comment below on how you could use student-generated videos to enhance your practice.